Hey guys, back here with a, uh, a, a video tutorial of um, the uh, VSL software from PreSonus. I recently purchased the um, AudioBox 22 VSL. I've got a box, an opening and unboxing and review of that. Um, you can check out the video. I'm sure it's in the sidebar there. Uh, but um, it's a great unit. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, uh, I, I just kind of only wish that... Um, Presonus had put up some some video tutorials on how to use uh, VSL. It's not that difficult, but it did take some some you know some some work to figure it out. Um, uh, but so I figured what I would do is put this uh, quick tutorial together to help others um, to use the product. I'm sure at some point uh, Presonus will probably come out with some tutorials. Uh, but in the meantime, this hopefully this will be helpful. In any event, what you what you see here on your screen is the uh, VSL software GUI, uh, which is really innovative. And I, as I said, I'm really happy with the uh, the hardware. Uh, it's clean. Um, the uh, is very low latency. Um, the uh, the controls on the bot on the hardware are really nice. The POS are real nice. It's just really well made uh, piece of equipment, and the software that goes along with it really complements it. So what I wanted to do was just to uh, take you through the software here to to uh, give you an overview of how to use it so you've got um, a couple of different areas here on your on your GUI. you've got your channel area which is set up like a typical mixer uh, channel one here is uh, corresponds to input one on your uh, audio box and two obviously corresponds to input two uh, you've got solo mute and select on each one and you got pan on each one you also have um, effect sends A and B to your effects send channels right here um, on each one of your input channels. You have a um, high pass filter and you have a, a phase reverse as well as the post button. Uh, quickly what the post button means is if you got the post button on um, any DSP process that you do in this channel will go to your uh, DAW, your, your uh, digital audio workstation. Uh, if you got this off, it will not. It will record clean. Okay. Uh, the last thing you have on this channel, on each channel, your input channel is the um, uh, what they call the fat channel, uh, and you've got a gate, compression, and EQ for each of the fat for, for within each channel for the fat channel, uh, and these basically allow you to set up um, noise gate, compression, and EQ uh, for each of these channels. Um, and PreSonus has done a great job of giving you a number of uh, presets here um, over here in this uh, scrolling window uh, for each of these um, for your fat channel so for example if I wanted to record an acoustic guitar on channel one uh, that was a strumming acoustic guitar I could take this uh, preset just drop it right here on the channel and you can see these cells change okay um, didn't affect the noise gate but the compression and EQ um, did change and if I, I could actually click on this cell and it actually takes me into uh, the detail for the compressor um, and I can look at that for either the gate the compressor or the EQ and you can see the EQ has the ability to you can modify the EQ just by clicking and grabbing uh, pretty cool uh, interface uh, or you can use the pots that they the, the uh, software pots if you will um, to, to, to do that as well Compressor has a limiter. Uh, if you'd like to use that, you can certainly use that. I tend to use the limiter on my uh, my on Mixcraft uh, for production, which is fine. Um, and it also has uh, all the typical controls for a compressor. Also has a noise gate and filter. Uh, if you'd like to do that as well. Um, so that's basically each channel input channel. Uh, these next two channels here are your uh, are the signals coming from your digital audio inter digital audio workstation. Um, so for your playback, and what I found was that um, when I first started using it, the playback was real muddy. Try to figure it out, and what I found what you had to do is you had to mix one, the left channel to the left and the right channel to the right, and then all of a sudden the playbacks started to sound real clear and crisp and, and, and as you would expect it. So just a small tip that you may want to, uh, uh, you may want to check out. Uh, the other thing is you can, um, as I talked before, you have your effect sends here, A and B effect sends. Um, 
specifically for uh, the headphone mix, so the playback to the artist doesn't affect what's being recorded on um, your digital audio workstation, but it gives the the art the artist that a reverb or delay in their headset to help them with their performance, uh, and you can vary the amount of um, effects that are each on each channel just by uh, clicking this um, this this bar here which is a really pretty cool feature and just set up the effects you basically click the effects button here and I'm gonna pick a um, a simple uh, reverb just dr drag and drop it right on the reverb and then again you just uh, use your your uh, um, interface here just to click it click the amount of send you wanted to uh, to send to this channel. These uh, sliders here um, will basically um, allow you to increase the amount or decrease the amount of, uh, of that particular effect on the channel. But again, it doesn't affect the um, uh, what's being recorded on your digital audio workstation. This is just for the um, just for the, uh, um, the the playback and the um, the artist's uh, headset. So that's basically digital uh, the digital um, effects capabilities. Uh, I guess I should probably go over the setup button here. So if you click this, you'll see you've got uh, the ability to, to um, affect how the um, the meter is controlled. Um, you can also set, set your sampling rate, uh, your performance, so how much CPU it uses, and also your AS, ASIO buffer size. Um, your your DAW will affect the sample rate. Um, so basically, it'll, uh, the audio box, I believe, goes up to 96 kHz, 24-bit. So if you've got a DAW that supports that, you'll be able to take advantage of that to get pretty high-quality samples when you're recording. Um, so just you know, whatever you have set up for on your DAW, remember it'll be you know, the uh, audio box will use that. So let's talk a little bit about. Um, um, this box over here. So first, we, we, we talked about the fat channel. I showed you how to drag and drop um, uh, particular uh, setups for each channel. But what we can also do, just going to reset this here, um, is set up scenes. So let's say that I wanted to um, record a uh, an artist that was an acoustic guitar player. So I set up acoustic strumming for channel one, and he was going to be singing on channel two. Two, so I set up to use the male three voice, okay, and uh, and then I made some modifications to the EQ, let's say, uh, for his voice, okay. So these are sort of like special modifications, okay. What I could then do is once I have this set up, is go to scene, okay, and hit the plus sign, and it'll save this scene. I can go in here and rename it. So I'll call this acoustic setup save it okay and then what I'll do is let me just reset the scene and you'll see now I'm, I'm back to blank but if I take this acoustic setup and I drop it on the whole uh, VSL GUI boom it sets it up exactly the way it was for that particular artist it's really a, a great feature uh, if you tweak your premix the way you want it you have a way now of saving it dropping it in as a scene and getting right back to it uh, when that particular artist is going to be recording again or yourself or whatever so uh, pretty cool feature um, really makes it um, easy to use uh, one thing I didn't speak about was the main channel this basically just controls the volume to your headphones or speakers that are connected to uh, the audio box uh, uh, interface hardware itself um, that's pretty much it um, you know Overall, it's uh, again a pretty simple interface to use once you figure it out. The manual is okay. I suggest reading the manual. Hopefully, this video will will help you get started a little quicker. Uh, so please, um, uh, if if you'd like, you hit the like button or comment or certainly subscribe to the channel. Uh, and um, I appreciate you watching today. And uh, well, hopefully, we'll be back with some more videos. Thanks.